Eskuntza eta lanbide ziketako ministroa, gobernuko delegatua, saileko baitare sailur ordek, zuzendari eta ardura duen guztiak. Eskuntza eta lanbide ziketako ministroa, Members of the world of vocation, education and training from all the world, good morning. Before starting, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the Basque Country. For us, it's truly a pleasure to have you here today and to be able to share the next couple of days to think about vocational education and training. So once again, in Spanish, to the World Federation of Colleges and Polytechnics, thanks for choosing us for organizing this event, which uh, due to the pandemic... Uh, over the next two days, we'll be sharing experiences and, of course, you'll be offering us all of your knowledge, your, your experience experience here. We're going to be hearing from all different people that work at uh, vocational training colleges because it's clear that the progress, the strength of vocational training lies in its colleges. The colleges are the ones that adapt to the continuous changes to the training needs of the students and to the challenges of the business world. The technological revolution we're experiencing is disruptive and it generates two feelings, concern but also a lot of excitement. We're moving towards an unknown world and a new reality. The move towards a 5.0 society forces us to reinvent ourselves. It's time for disruptive strategies. We are living in a new era that represents a huge space of opportunities and global benefits. We must, however, commit ourselves to progress that's based on the sustainable human development model, which strengthens and ensures a welfare society, a society that's just and caring. Excellence for all is the motto of this Congress. So training opportunities for all, excellent training for all and for the benefit of society. In short, we're talking about progress based on education, health, social cohesion, sustainability and the capacity for innovation, sharing a long-term vision such as that offered by the 2030 Agenda defending the moral and ethical standards necessary to consolidate balanced social progress. In this International Congress, we're going to be talking about vocational education and training, but we need to remember that what we want, our ultimate goal, is social cohesion, which is a priority for all uh, societies. So we're moving towards a technological and intelligent future. It's up to us to find another way of understanding the present in order to live the future. Transformation processes must always be innovation processes, innovation based on knowledge, technology and collaboration. In short, a society with more opportunities, also with new values and goals prepared to take on new challenges in the global scenario in which vocational training will develop. Three words sum this idea up, and please don't forget any of the three of them. The first, humanity. The second, technology. And the third, intelligence. But although it may seem so, we're not moving into the age of technology. In reality, we're moving towards a new area of humanity, of humankind. And let's not forget, people are the key players of any transformation. Vocational training needs to drive forward this transformation. The teams that work at the colleges, uh, that is the leadership teams and the teaching staff are fully engaged at a time that we're living in today. That's really admirable. And this Congress is the perfect opportunity to be able to sit back and think together and face this new era together. We're designing a new space for the future and it's people-centered. The... That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoy this Congress and your stay. 
both in San Sebastian, in Donosti, and in the Basque Country. Eskari thank you.